Hey YouTube, well, I haven't posted in a long time. I um, haven't done very much, so pretty much I just want to do a review. Um, it's just going to be a quickie review. I'm not going to say much. I'm not going to go through all these packs, but this pack is, um, I forget which, which uh, Max Expedition this granny pack is. Anyway, um, but that's like my new everyday carry. You know, this is something I'm going to take inside a restaurant. Um, I'm diabetic, so I've got diabetic stuff in here. Uh, my insulin needles, meter. Um, it's going to go in there. Uh, actually, I just realized I forgot to move it over. This is just going to be a throw in my truck pack or anywhere pack. Um, you know, if I go with my wife and her truck or with somebody else or something like that, I'm going to grab this one. I've got a big... Um, backpack out in my truck i'm really thinking about just going through that again and seeing what i really gotta have um and just stuff that you know i've never used i've been carrying out for a long time it's a max expedition pack also um and then let me see if i can do this without this is my newest edition and it's going back i bought me and my wife one this is probably one of the worst design packs i've ever seen my expedition have um so you know it's it's uh kind of the thing where you know you fill up one pocket and the other pocket fills up behind it uh you fill up a sleeve pocket and since it doesn't bellow very much out here on the sides it doesn't bellow enough you fill up one of the internal sleeve pockets and it takes up all the room in the external or the uh, next pocket next to it um so i mean you know this is this is like a really small uh, the remora is just I don't know what they I don't know what they were thinking because they didn't put enough of a bellows like in this pocket or in this pocket and then they got sleeves in both pockets you can get a better review of the remora online there's plenty of people out there reviewing these things um so you know and then they don't put a bellows in it down here in the bottom somewhere or something they don't they don't put enough material in there for it to pop back out you know at least with this one in the main pocket i've got a lot up here and in this pocket but at least with this one it, it flares out enough where you can get a little bit more stuff in there and i don't need to have that much i need to carry on me um you know like i say it's just just a few odds and ends this has got a meter but i've got a new meter that works with my phone so this has got everything i need in there for for checking my uh, blood sugar um but uh it needs to be moved over to here for backup, just in case that other meter don't work or my phone batteries are dead or something. And, you know, I mean, this isn't even filled up all the way. You know, I mean, it's, it's still got room for stuff, you know. So, whoops, I'm not even in the picture. You know, this is just got a little bit of stuff, you know. This is my least favorite bag of all the Mac, Mac Expedition bags, uh, besides the Remora. <laughs> the Remora's definitely got to be my least favorite. But this one, I really, you know, I'm thinking about trying a Lanuda. But I don't know. I've got these other bags. I don't really need to spend the money. And this is what I've been using for gun bag. It's the... I'm going to get my hand out of the sunlight. It's the 511. Um, these things are, of course, useless. So, uh, but that's what I've been using for my gun bag. I'm losing weight. My pants are too big. My belts are too big. So if I try and use a regular holster, it pulls my pants down. And then, of course, Florida Summers... Who wants to wear a cover garment? You know, it's, 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 it's hot and humid here in Florida uh, during the summer. You know, I mean, during the winter, um, I might switch to, uh, to, to my regular holsters, uh, to a real holster instead of this thing. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I would recommend it if you need, it, need something like this or if you prefer carrying something like this. It can be thrown over the shoulder, too. It doesn't necessarily have to be worn as a fanny pack. Um, but uh, really, I'd rather have a regular holster and carry magazines on, uh, on my belt. But my pants keep falling down. And uh, it's just kind of hot here in Florida to wear a cover garment. Um, I was wearing a, a, what they call a summertime vest, a warm weather vest. But even with that, it covered my gun fine. But when I went to pull my pants up, sometimes I just, I'd, I'd expose the gun accidentally. Um, so, you know... Uh, I wind up switching with that. It's not ideal. There's nothing that I would recommend unless you need something like that, like me. Um, but it's definitely better than not carrying a gun. 
I would much rather have my gun on my on my belt, on my waist, uh, with a cover garment. But this works for Florida summers. Um, I had the Maxpedition JK JK pouch, whatever in the world it is. And I didn't like that one because to open it, you had to go get your hand way down here like this. You had to sit, uh, you had to pull the this thing on that pouch, but it was up here, so you had to pull down and then reach back up for the gun and draw the gun. So you had to unzip it and then reach back up. Well, this one, you have to do the same thing, but at least it's a lot less. It's a lot quicker getting to it. If you rip this open, I can't do it in one hand, but if you rip that open, it doesn't come, you know, you can get it partially down and get to the gun. You know, and I've got magazines there. You can barely see them since I'm doing this with one hand. You can barely see the ma one magazine there. There's another one over here, um, and that's a Glock 19. So, uh, yes, I'm a Glock fanboy. I love my Glocks. Best damn gun in the world. <laughs> I'm probably going to get uh, flamed over saying that. <laughs> but oh well. So anyway, you know, that's my plans. These are going back, or this one's going back. I got one for me in my life. So I really do. Neither one of us really like that one. I don't know about the Lanuda, but um, I've got this. So, you know, I think I would like the Lanuda better than this one. Maybe one day if I ever actually get to see a Lanuda in a store or something like that, I'll change my mind and buy one. But I'm really, this is really, this has really destroyed my confidence in uh, anything like the Lanuda, you know, because I just, I just don't see. I know the Lanuda is twice as big as this, about one and a half times, something like that I've seen online on YouTube. But uh, I've got these other packs. You know, this is something I'll take inside of a restaurant um, or someplace if I need to. It's not something I'm going to definitely put on and carry around uh, 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 along with that. This is just something that I'm going to grab and go with out of my truck. This is something that's going to go from truck to truck or, uh, you know, maybe, you know, something like that. And then the other backpack, I'm going to try and see what's in that again and maybe consolidate into here or just keep it at the house for a uh, grab and go pack. Um, if I ever need to need what's in it so but I needed something small to carry a little bit of stuff in um so you know I mean I got batteries for my lights I've got some Advil in there um this is not the only little thing of uh, liquid Splenda or Sucralose you know um but stuff like that. I've go to one or two restaurants that I've quit carrying sucralose. And that's my favorite artificial sweetener, or sucralose. So, you know, I've got some other gobbledygook in here. Some other junk uh, in here. Another flashlight. More batteries somewhere in here. Um, so, you know, and then in here I've got some other stuff. I've got a bigger bottle of liquid uh, sucralose in there and uh, hand sanitizer and other stuff that I prefer to have on me. So, and like I say, this thing is just, you know, this is going to stay in a vehicle. Um, and uh, I need to move this over because that's going to be my backup glucose meter if I ever need it. So, well, this other new one I've got works with my phone, works actually plugs into my phone. So, all right. Well, I mean, I just want to do a quick review of the Remora. Um, this may be the only review you'll, that you will see online, negative, re negative review that is, that you will see online about the Maxpedition or more, or more, or more. My Glock fit in here fine. I mean, there was a little bit of a showing, but if this thing's going to be on your back, it doesn't make a difference. Because it's going to be against your body and your back, or your, or, or your body and, and, and uh, you. So unless you take it off uh, for some reason to sit down on a table in a restaurant or something like that, if you're carrying... <laughs> Excuse me, a gun the size of a Glock 19 or Glock 17, it's going to show a little bit on these corners right here. But who the hell's going to notice? I mean, really, nobody's going to notice it. So, you know, if, if uh, your wife, girlfriend wants something like this for a carry bag, um, it's not going to hold much. 
and it's definitely not going to hold much. I mean, it's well made, just like all Maxpedition packs are. It's extremely well made. It's just not very big, and then they don't bellow, and they don't put enough material in the sides here to bellows it very well. So, I know I'm repeating myself again. Um, anyway, like I say, I didn't, I didn't like it at all. Couldn't carry very much in it at all. All right, thanks for watching YouTube. I'm trying to think of some other stuff to put out there. Um, because I haven't posted anything in a long time, so I'm constantly trying to think of something to put out there, but I don't know when or if we're going to go camping again. Um, I'm probably going to go this winter sometime. Uh, maybe even if I got to go by myself, struggle getting firewood and everything. So, all right, well, thanks for watching YouTube. Talk at you later.